Joining me right now is the Jeffries family. Uh, uh, if you all don't know, you know, Mama, tell, what, what's, tell me. Shatanya Hardaway. Shatanya Hardaway. What's your name again? DJ Jeffries. DJ Jeffries. <laughs> what was your name? Corey Jeffries. Corey Jeffries. Hey, first, thank you all for joining. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks for letting us be here. And I, the big question, DJ, I got to start with you, man, then I get to your parents, man. I made some big news, you know, yesterday. Mm -hmm. D committed to Kentucky, man. Just, just tell me what went behind that decision. You know, like, before you fully commit somewhere, you got to make sure it's the best thing for you and your family. So I sat down with them, thought about it. It was hard, but, you know, at the end of the day, I had to make, make a hard decision for me and my family. So. Now, Corey, when you know when you know your son was gonna, you know, make this decision, man, you uh, pretty sure you expected some backlash, man. Uh, how did you feel about it, man? What, what's the conversations you all had? Well, we we sit down and we discuss the fact that they going they gonna trash you, you know what I mean? They going they going they gonna slam you, but you know, there's nothing you've been through, you, you haven't been through before. You, you know what I mean? You you've been scrutinized from since sixth grade, so it's nothing new. You know, honestly, it wasn't as as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So you know what I mean? It it, it, it wasn't too hard for. Her. Now, Mama, how'd you feel about that? Because I know that's a baby. He's a big baby, but that's still your baby. Now, how'd you feel about that? Well, I knew it was a hard decision for him, but at the end of the day, it's what's best for him, what he feel comfortable doing. So I, I trust his judgment. He's been doing good so far. So. Now, DJ and Corey, when y'all made that decision, DJ, and I start with you, man, I'm pretty sure. Uh, did you hear from Kentucky, Coach Cal at all, once you made the decision? And if so, you know, how, how did that go? Well, when I made the decision, but before I made the decision, like, I texted him that night, then he called me the next morning. He was telling me basically about I'd be the first one to, like, decommit for Kentucky and tell me all the negatives and positives to it, stuff like that. But I ain't hear from Coach Cal, though. What about you, though, Corey? Did you hear from Kentucky coaches at all after, you know, uh, DJ made the decision, man? Well, assistant, you know, assistant. We, we ain't hadn't heard anything from Cal, so, you know, I mean, we heard from assistant. And, you know, it was like I say, it was it was kind of rocky. You know, I, I didn't expect I didn't expect it to go smooth. If you know, what I mean, if you did come in and reopen your recruitment from a major blue blood college, I didn't expect them to be happy about it. But you know, through the whole process, they were professional about it. So I expected them to carry the professionalism on through the process, and it, it didn't happen like that. Did you care to, would you care to expound on how it wasn't professional, or how, exactly how did they react? Or well, you know, it seemed to me that if a kid if a kid decide not to go to your school, you should at least be supportive of, okay, that's not, okay, if, if you don't feel like you're ready for, you know, to make this decision, you should at least be supportive about it. They were supportive about it, you know, about him committing. So I expect them to be, you know, more supportive of him, you know, in that. Even if he decided to decommit, I expect you to say, okay, well, we want you. We're going to continue to recruit. You know, we didn't, that's not what we got. So, you know, that that's where the, that's where the problem came in. Gotcha. Now, DJ, was there anything about Kentucky that just made you just reassess and be like, you know what, let me let me back up. Was there any specific reason why you wanted to decommit, man, or just what were you thinking about? It? You just want to go through the whole process. I mean, you know, when I first committed, like I ain't, like I didn't really have nothing to compare it to. Like it was just Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. Because I did, when I got the offer, the other schools just bagged off. So now I can see what other schools want and get to visit other campuses instead of Kentucky. So that's why. Now, of, of course, you know, Memphis Tigers fans are excited. Now, I know you're not, not about to make a decision right now, but yeah. Memphis Tigers fans are extremely excited because they're thinking about the possibility. You know? I ain't going to even lie to you. You know, I do sports on TV, and they tell us we're supposed to be objective. I'm not objective. I'm a Memphis Tiger. And I'm, I'm pulling for the Tigers, man. I love for you to be a Tiger. But uh, what does this mean as far as Memphis Tigers are concerned? And I know you, have a, you, know, you all have a great you know, uh, relationship with Penny, TJ. Of course, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> fine. Well, you know, it's, it's kind of big, but, you know, it's something I think about because me and Penny, we've been so close for these years, and I built a good relationship with him. And even when I committed to Kentucky, like, he'll still reach out to me and, like, help me with certain stuff to motivate me to do better. So Memphis would be, be one of the schools I consider. How you feel about that, Mom? I mean, just not only just Memphis, about him just opening recruitment back up again and being able to look at all these different options. Well, I thought it was over with <laughs> the stress. <laughs> I mean, but at the end of the day, like I said, it's what's best for him, what best fit him. And if he okay with it, I'm okay with it. Now, Corey, did, did, did Penny call anything one after DJ made this? this uh, now, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, he called. Yeah, he How'd got, that conversation go, man? Man, he gave, when he called, uh, 
to be honest with you, Doc, he, well, he called, you know, he called, I don't, you know, we don't have his new number since he's been the coach here. So when he called, I didn't recognize the number. And when I answered the phone, he just started talking, you know, he didn't say, you know, who it was, just started talking. And he was so excited that I never heard him, you know, all the conversations we had, he's always been, you know, calm. And so when he was talking, the whole time I'm sitting there listening, I'm like, man, like who, who is who this? Is this? <laughs> yeah. And then he started laughing, he said, my bad, Corey, man, it's Penny, man. I, I then, I then, I, you know, we, we laughed it up. And, uh, you know, he just, he just talked about, you know, he just happy to be able to finally be able to recruit him. You know, like, you know what I mean? He couldn't recruit him at first, but now he can, he can come. You know, he can come get him. So we'll, we'll see. DJ, how does that make you feel, man? Because even though you've been knowing Penny a long time, and the, the thing I like about Pete, and I've been knowing him since 91, man, he, he don't automatically assume that he has you all because he already has a relationship with you all, man. Just how does that make you feel, man, that Penny, not only Penny, Mike Miller and Tony Matlack and Sam Mitchell, all those guys are coming at you, man. And Memphis Tiger, a uh, uh, blue Tiger Nation coming at you, man. How does that make you feel, DJ? I mean, you know, it feels important to be wanted, like, to the – to the hometown, like around here. Oh, you want it, bro? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want it, bro. <laughs> it feels good, cause you know, like, like to know they're watching and, like, stuff yesterday they were saying, like, like joking, like DJ coming to Memphis and stuff like that. Like I saw it, like this stuff. It's kind of interesting. How does that make you feel, Mom? To uh, everybody, you know, because not only is he is a great athlete, he's a great young man, humble, well spoken, and just. But how does that make you feel that the people around here uh, appreciate him so much and? Showing you all that, you know, what he would mean to Memphis is something totally different than what he would mean, you know, to like one of them other schools. You know what I'm saying? You working, ain't you? Yeah, I, man, do you blame him? No Come sir. on, man. No, sir. <laughs> look, he's selling it, right? Hey, hey look, working. hey, I'm just working. saying. But how, how does that make you feel, though, Mom? It, it makes me feel good. And if he decide, you know, to go to Memphis, I'll be comfortable. All right. going there. All right, now, GJ, where, where, where do we go from here, man? It's just, I know the recruitment is back up, opening up. You know, just, where do we go from here? Uh, just got to I'm gonna go look, look at other colleges, see, see what's good, see what's a good fit for me, and then after I get down there, probably make my decision. But. Corey, y'all got any visits set up, man? What, what schools have you all heard from? Uh, well, we've heard from, you know, of course, Memphis, Mississippi State, LSU, uh, Ole Miss, uh, Josh Passion even called. Josh? Yeah, Josh called. Yeah, Georgia Tech. Man. Yeah, but yeah, Josh wanted us to reclass. We're not reclassing. Oh, he's, oh, he's tripping. Mean, we're not reclassing. Okay. So, yeah, but but those are the schools that. But other than well, as far as official visits go, we've only decided on Memphis and Mississippi State so far. But you know there will be there will be other visits. So we, we're still working through that right now. And lastly, DJ, man, everybody know that you know you and James Wiseman and Cool. How much recruiting and how much talking are you all doing with one another, man, about possibly playing at, at the same university? And even, I know you know Lomax and them and Dandridge and all them guys mm -hmm. at Memphis already that's probably telling you how much, you know, they love you and they want you, you know, just like I'm telling you, just like the rest of Memphis. I mean, <laughs> I mean, how, I mean how, how was you all conversation? Now, you all even talked about possibly going to the same university? I mean, when I, when I was committed to Kentucky, you know, I, I miss with him every now and then about it, but I really haven't talked to him about going to Memphis, so. This is probably going to be something new to him because I ain't talking to him about Kentucky. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I guess I guess I'll reach out to him, talk to him about it. <laughs> all right, lastly, Pops, Moms, anything y'all want to add? I, just, I, want, I thank you all for coming in. Anything y'all want? Any lasting words? Because I have some, but I'm going to let my words be last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Well, once again, thank you all so much for thank joining you. us. <laughs> Good luck to you all. I mean, I, I look forward to this process. I look forward to staying in touch with you all. You know, I look forward to, you know, uh, calling you, texting you. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna, I'm going to leave you alone because you're a young thug, but I look forward to bothering <laughs> you for You know, no doubt about it, man. So thank you all very much. Appreciate it.